Good morning. My name is Michelle Coleman. For those of you who do this not know, this is March 13th, 2023, and I am going to give you what God has given me this morning. The Lord is walking me through this journey, walking by faith completely in in business and in ministry, getting me to the vision and the place aligned with his purpose and my destiny. Because I kind of been off just a little bit trying to figure things out myself. So I am going to share with you where he's had me for the past, so for two, the past days. two days. God has kept me focusing on the scripture that he gave me. Proverbs 3 and 6. Be not on your own understanding and trust in him in all your ways. And he will direct my path. That has been sitting with me and uh, resonating with me so that it can combat the fear that has arrived. I made a video yesterday when I was getting instructions from the Lord um, on what he would have me do. Before he gave me those instructions, before I went into prayer, I was hit with anxiety and fear. And... I had to put it in its place. I had to put it in its place because it was it was taking control of me and I had come into agreement with this so quickly that I was starting to pay, starting to like worry because where I am right now, this is a daily commitment to uh, walking by faith. My faith is increasing. I do I do have faith in God, but the vision is that He's given me why I haven't gotten there yet i was number one trying to do it in my own will and it it overwhelmed me number two it's god his is he's his you know what he tells us to do is is big and so i had to put fear in his place but it wasn't just a vision that is like oh my gosh how am i it gonna do this the, it was the ask of me in the interim of doing doing what God has wanted me to do. So how am I going to pay my bills and how am I going to function if, you know, that 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 is what tried to set in with me. That fear tried to set in because God has asked me to do something that is like uh leave my job type thing and I honestly had not mm, I'm like, "Lord, I'm like, why, why why do I need to do that in in <laughs> But the Lord has been trying to break a mindset off of me. And although I don't feel like I've had a, a connection or a tie, I know I have. I know that it's something that has been revealed to me through God. And I just, you either have to believe what God has shown you and told you or not. And that's just what it is. So I had to come out of agreement with fear and anxiety and put it in its place because if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to go to God and listen to him in its purest form. My heart would not be at peace. I would not be at peace. And then what I'm hearing, it would be off because if I'm hearing from a place of fear, I'm hearing from a place of anxiety, I would probably hear that, oh, you need to do this right now because um, this is what I think is best for you to do. And it's not really um, what God is wanting me to do. It's fear or anxiety speaking and fueling my move instead of my move being fueled by God's instruction, by God's word. So I'm focusing on leaning not on my own understanding. That's the key part right now. My understanding is I need to go to work. I need to go to work because how are my bills going to be paid? And so what I'm learning to do, because it's a daily commitment. It's a daily commitment to get up in the mornings and know I'm deciding to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus this day because I'm supposed to be and I need to be 
where he's called me to us. It's not just for the provision. It's for the people assigned to the vision that's waiting for me to be in that place to receive what God wants them to have. You know, it's not just for me. So I'm focused on leaning not on my own understanding, just depending that God has given me the instructions and I'm going to to do it because I'm not depending on myself. I'm, I'm depending on God. I'm depending on God in every aspect. And that is something that I've had to truly I've had to truly, and I don't want to cry. I've had to truly acknowledge that I cannot have control over. I cannot allow myself to be in control of what God is already in control of. I cannot put myself in the place where I have no business being because what God is doing and wanting to have done, I have to jump on board with his vision and I have to allow him to do it. So that is something that you need to address with yourself. If you are truly allowing God to be the CEO, the Lord of your life, you need to truly come into the, um, the truth of where you are and where you are walking, how you are walking with God in your day-to-day -day basis trusting and believe because it's easy to say oh i have faith but when that faith is truly put to the test when you are truly having to step out and and believe that what i am doing i am doing because i'm being obedient to god i am doing this because i trust and truly believe not in just your blessings, but in your love, in your faithfulness, in your um, direction, you, you have to really come into knowing that that's the first place to be in because every level, every step, every place that he takes us to um, whether it's the ground level, each level is going to, uh, there's going to be a place where faith has to increase, where faith is going to be challenged, where faith is going to reach a new level for us to be able to continue to um, move in the direction that he would have us do. So right now, that's where I'm focused on. I'm focused and he's given me some other actionable items and steps to take in the midst of that. But building a solid foundation in this degree of faith. In this degree of faith. Do you have a solid foundation in this degree of faith? Because faith increases. Faith increases increases in our day-to-day -day, um, steps and moments with God as he moves us and we move with him. So that's what I want to share with you today.